Hello everyone, I'm Vijaya from Vijaya Academics. Today I'll be going to discuss about the progress on NEP 2020 CBSE. Let us see what is there. Uh, we are going to see it in detail. The first topic is related to competency-based education and the assessment reforms. In all the stages, experiential learning will be adopted, including hands-on learning, arts integrated and the sports integrated education, storytelling-based pedagogy, among others, a standard pedagogy within each subject and with exploration of relations among different subjects. To close the gap in achievement of learning outcomes, classroom transactions will shift towards competency-based learning and education. The assessment tools, including assessment as of and for learning, will also be aligned uh, with the learning outcomes, capabilities, and dispositions as specified for each subject of a given class. Implementing a competency-based education competency in schools. In order to develop a common shared understanding about competencies, the board has collaborated with Azim Premji University and educational initiatives to develop learning frameworks for classes 9th till 12th. The frameworks comprise, comprises explicitly stated knowledge, skills, and dispositions that an education system should try to achieve. This would enable teachers, learners, and the other stakeholders to track the learning levels of students and serve as a common benchmark for teaching, learning, and assessment across the country. Progress, the English, Hindi, Science, Mathematics, and the Social Science Learning Framework for classes. Ninth, a complete framework for major subjects in classes. Eleventh and twelfth are being prepared the work of engaging with stakeholders through consultation programs is underway. Benefits accrued. Shared understanding of the competencies be acquired and assessed with whom. Enhancement of the quality assessment, both formative and summative. Guidelines for paper setting and blueprint for teachers. Availability of high quality sample competency based assessment for teachers. The learning framework would also help teachers to prioritize some of the essential concepts in the topic to be taught. Facilitation of enduring learning, which can be useful throughout the student's lifetime. Way forward, work on learning standards for classes 11th and 12th is underway for English core, chemistry, physics, mathematics, economics, business studies, accountancy, biology, Hindi core, history, computer, science, and geography. Target group beneficiaries, students in classes 9th, class 12th. Aligning assessment to the vision of NEP 2020. The board undertakes steps to progressive align assessment to the vision of the NEP 2020 by including more competency-based questions in the class 10th and 12th board examination. In this process, the question paper design of examination changed to include objective type questions, including MCQs, reduce the number of questions in the subjective paper, and introduce diverse format of questions, assertion reasoning question, and case-based question. In the academic session 2020, 2021-22, approximately 30% questions at class 10th board examination and examination Approximately 20% questions at class 12th are competency-based. These can be in the form of multiple choice questions, case-based questions, source-based questions, integrated questions, or any other type. In collaboration with the British Council, Educational Initiatives, and the Alpha Plus, the board has developed question bank for classes 6 to 10th. Target group beneficiaries, students in classes 10th and 12th benefits enhancement of the quality of assessment following scientific principle assessment, question making and analysis, preparing a good test, competency based questions in the exam will enable a paradigm shift, nudging the teachers to develop a good test, promoting good practices and proper learning throughout the education system. The introduction of competency-based items in the board examination would support students of class 10th 
and 11th to acquire deep understanding of the concept, which would focus more on understanding the concepts rather to memorize tapes and answers. High quality questions, valid, reliable, and understanding based will support in generating insights and the feedback for school and parent students on the basis of students' data. Progress and way forward. The competency based questions would be enhanced to 40% in classes 9th to 10th and 30% in classes 11th and 12th in the academic session 2022 and 23. Capacity building programs are being designed and organized for both officials, paper setters and evaluators to enhance their understanding and the skills for making competency based questions. Capacity building of teachers. A number of programs have been undertaken for developing teachers' capacities to develop assessment aligned to CBA. In collaboration with British Council Training for I, uh, item writing de uh, delivered by Alpha Plus 180 teachers now to 1,000 more through a uh, cascade model by British Council and COE. And training for CBE pedagogy delivered by Cambridge University 320 teachers now to 1,000 more through cascade model by British Council and COE. In collaboration with the Azim Premji University training for item writing for CBSC examination experts and training for item writing for CBSC CTAT experts in collaboration with the Educational Initiatives webinar series on writing MCQ for teachers and trainings for evaluators has been conducted. Views received on webinars on competency-based assessment held in October 2021. 20, Subject views, uh, science, uh, Hindi, mathematics, English, the views are given over here. Next is target group beneficiaries, teachers of class classes six to uh, 12th uh, benefits, better capacities of teachers for using competency-based assessment to improve classroom instructions, diagnose misconception and apply principles to the science of learning to classroom practices. The capacity building workshops will cover identified applicable innovative practices and curriculum intervention. This would improve modalities of assessment, continuous professional development of teachers and development of learning communities engaged in improving assessment practices. Progress and way forward. Programs are experts for experts uh, on designing assessment, uh, writing items, and pedagogy of CBA have been organized in collaboration with the Azim Premji University and the British Council. Development of capacity building and modules and workshop calendar for the teachers at CBA is complete. Workshop to start with the next one, two month. A video course for teachers on competency-based assessment is being developed. Program on the art and science question making to be undertaken uh, and be completed by 2020. Two, development of resources for teachers. Resources were developed for teacher, schools, teachers on item writing and the essential concept in collaboration with Azim Premji University, Bangalore and CSF. The handbook assessment and the evaluation based practices in item design test development was prepared. This handbook aimed to develop teachers of all the subjects to design test items that are a valid and the reliable majors of the students learning to provide guidance for the test developers who create questions or task for learning assessments, elaborates the role of a learning framework for item writing characteristics and development of high quality assessment uh, instruments and provides inputs for writing good items, including the constructions of marking guides. See, this is the book, Handbook of Assessment and the Evaluation. higher order thinking skills and lower order thinking skills. In 2001, uh, Lauren Anderson, a former student of Bloom, with a team of experts revised Bloom's taxonomy with the aim of making it more relevant to the needs of the students and teachers of the 21st century. The revision was called Taxonomy for Teaching, Learning and Assessment. The most obvious change in the new version was that the nouns in the original taxonomy were replaced with the series of action verbs as shown below. Higher order thinking skills. Uh, see, uh, it has been, uh, this is original taxonomy. 
and this is the reverse taxonomy. See, uh, if you will start uh, from uh, bottom, uh, here, original taxonomy says knowledge. Here it is, revised taxonomy says remembering. Then here, comprehension, here understanding. Application, applying. Analysis, analyzing. Synthesize, synthesis, evaluating. And evaluation, creating. In this way, uh, here, lower order thinking skill is going towards the higher order thinking skills. This is the revised taxonomy. This taxonomy was specified in hierarchical steps moving along a development continuum of increasing cognitive complexity in which the lower order thinking skills are subsumed by the higher order thinking skills. For example, if a student is functioning at applying level, then it is understood that he has also mastered the functioning, uh, mastered the material at remembering and understanding. Bloom, 1956. This new taxonomy thus reflected a more active form of thinking as this series of action words describe the cognitive process by which they work. Item response formats. The two major item or response formats are constructed response and selected response. Constructed response items require students to supply their own responses. They include short answers, essay, and performance assessments. Selected response item require the students to choose an answer from a set of two or more options. Common types of selected responses item include multiple choice items, true, false items, and matching items. Uh, target group beneficiaries benefit Crude, uh, teachers and approximately two good students of the classes, first to 12th of uh, 27,000 CBSC schools, ready reference for the students and the teachers for implementation of competency-based education, building capacities of teachers on competency-based education and assessment, progress and way forward, essential unset document released, a pan-India question-making competition is being planned to encourage teachers to make, uh, make high quality question and appropriate uh, how good quality question can support learning. Deaths to be finalized, ongoing creation of sample items and the papers mapped to the assessment framework and competency across classes. 10th and 12th are being created with detailed specification, including images with the support of assessment experts, lesson plans developed for English, science, mathematics for classes 6 to 10th. Advocacy of programs in NEP, CBSC NEP webinar series on com uh, completion of the first year of the National Education Policy 2020. CBSC organized a series of eight webinars from 4th to 20th August uh, 2021 uh, to give more insights into the NEP recommendations and the initiatives taken by CBSC for implementing NEP. Details of the themes and panelists of the webinars are theme of the webinar panelist career guidance and counseling assessment reforms with the special reforms to cbsc scheme 2021 fln mission digital transformation using new technologies quality assurance in cbsc school need for sqa suffer skilling in schools innovative pedagogy students enrichment activities to enhance competency of students, various enrichment activities are conducted by these by the boards. These activities are designed to develop critical thinking, analysis, creativity, scientific reading, mathematical literacy, and various other competencies required for all development of a student. Details are as follows. CBSC Reading Mission. The board has partnered with Pratham Book Story Weaver and Central Square Foundation to launch the CBSC Reading Mission on 20th September 2021. This mission is a two year long initiative in which all CBSC schools are participating. The teachers have access to a large rep uh, repository of openly licensed age appropriate children's literature via the Pratham Books reading program, available in English and Indian languages. This mission provides a continuous support for and guidance to teachers through periodic teacher librarian connect sessions so that 
the story books may be leveraged as a tool of development. Also, CBSE had launched the 100 Days Reading com Campaign for students of Balvatika to Class 8 under the powerful initiative to the Ministry of Education. The board also expanded the CBSE Reading Challenge 20. 21-22 to classes 6th, 7th, both in English and Hindi. This year, students participated in the challenge enthusiastically on the Diksha portal during November to December 2021. CBSC Science Challenge is an initiative to generate curious curiosity, inquiry, and higher order thinking amongst the learners. The board organized CBSC Science Challenge for the students of classes 8 to 10 during uh, on and uh, February 2022. Uh, till date, 1.4 lakh students have enrolled for the enrichment activity. Team of AGC 2021, uh, India's Mathematical Heritage. The challenge was done from 31st August 2021 uh, to 30th September 2021. Students from classes 8 to 10th, uh, irrespective of the board participated in the challenge. The board hosted the Arya Bhatta Gani challenge on my government Diksha platform. Two lakh ninety-two thousand nine hundred seventy students participated. Expression series. Expression one, expression two, expression three, and expression four. Expression series of uh, charting India's progress at the rate 75 is complete. Expression series will focus on freedom fighters from different states and UTs about whom students must be aware. Theme, people who gave us the 75th year of India's independence. Then students express themselves in any format, essay, poem, painting, cartoon, etc. and give their views on the on their vision about India in the year 2047. Students express themselves in any format, essay, poem, painting, cartoon, focusing on the local roots, uh, who, what students can do uh, for his, her nation shall be the theme. Uh, theme is my role for my country. Heritage uh, India quiz, CBSC Heritage India quiz is conducted every year to raise awareness about uh, preserving human heritage. Uh, diversity and vulnerability uh, of the India's built monuments and heritage sites. It is an attempt uh, of the board to motivate the future generations of this country towards efforts required to protect and conserve our vast cultural heritage. The theme of the year's quiz is India's freedom struggle to commemorate the 75 years of the Indian independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mohsav, storytelling competition. Students tried to uh, correlate the curricular content and the rich heritage and culture of our country. Theme of the competition is the story of India. Total 3,335 uh, stories were uploaded uh, by the schools. Suffol, structural assessment for analyzing learning. The aim of the assessment in the uh, culture of our schooling system will shift from one that the summative and the primarily taste wrote memorization skills to one that is regular in the formative is more competency based promotes learning and the development for our students and test higher order skills such as analysis critical thinking and conceptual clarity the primary purpose of the assessment will indeed be for learning it will help the teacher and the students and the entire schooling system continuously revise teaching learning process to optimize learning and development for all the students this will be the underlying principle for the assessment at all levels of education. Key features of the SUFL. SUFL as an evaluation tool will be completely focused on the assessment of core competencies among students and the result generated would provide diagnostic data and insights for each school to use for development. It would enable the education system to shift towards competency-based learning, measure the effectiveness of the school system and help identify areas of intervention intervention at a school level. SUFL item pilot and launch. The purpose of the SUFL uh, item pilot and launch is to assess the performance of the test items, instruments, and collect data on assessment design and assesses the performance of digital tool and evaluate feasibility of proposed implementation model. It has been 
uh, it will be conducted in 2,500 CBSC schools for the students in grade five and eight during the academic year 2022-23 in key circular areas, the language, mathematics, and the EVS science modality through digital modes, uh, wherever digital connectivity is a uh, limitation, pen paper mode, OMR may be used. Digital assessment platform suffer. Online assessment digital uh, tool, KSA digital platform for the conduct of the test is at final stage in collaboration with the CIDAP Mumbai. Progress, progress uh, so far and uh, way uh, forward. Assessment fr framework, blueprints, defining the layout, structure, uh, number of items have been developed. Suffol, uh, Suffol handbook has been uh, developed for public advocacy. Suffol uh, microsite has been launched on CBSC website. Pilot uh, on the digital tool will be conducted in the academic session 20, uh, 22, 23. Item developed for Suffol. Competency-based test items developed and its review for the pilot study has been completed. Item writers and the item reviewers training for the session 22, uh, 23 initiated first round then from 11th to 20th April, 2022. Over 3,500 items received review underway on the basis of the quality of the work. Item writers and the reviewers will be selected. More training sessions will be generated, uh, will be organized in the session. 2223. HPC Holistic Progress Card, a part of transferring a tra assessment for the student development, the parrot 4.35 of the NEP 2020 uh, recommended preparation of a holistic card to provide a 360 degree multi dimensional report of progress that uh, reflects in detail the progress as well as the uniqueness of each learn. Uh, Learner in the cognitive, affective, and social, emotional, and the psychomotor domain. HPC type has been developed by CBSC and uh, Envision as a pedagogical tool, a process through which uh, both the teachers and the parents will equally participate for the achievement of competencies by students. A tool to enable society to participate in the students' development and progress. A tool to identify the uniqueness of each child will. Uh, not increase any burden, a collaborative endeavor between parent, teacher, and learners and peers. Uh, key features of the HPC participatory and learner-centric uh, track skill and the competencies, inclusive, interdisciplinary, uh, qualitative feedback, flexible, uh, builds self-awareness and the self-esteem. progress so far and away ahead. Subsequent uh, to the extensive uh, deliberations, consultations and research on the subject, the CBSC committee uh, on HPC has developed uh, the prototype of HPC for classes one to three piloting. The uh, prototype has been uh, reviewed by NCRT, UNICEF and experts from the field of ECC. It uh, has it also uh, been weighted by CBSC school principals from a range of schools from uh, rural to semi-urban, urban schools as well as KVs. Further, it has been uh, presented before the National Focus Group on 6th April 2022. The pilot for the HPC is being done in 74 schools, 25 KVs, 16 government, and 33 other CBSC affiliated private schools. Pilot is being done with one section, each of the classes, first to third. These schools, implementation guide for teachers, training manual, and the videos, and other resources material on HPC have been developed. CBSC has developed HPC portal for facilitating schools to access digital version of HPC security and audit underway. Development of comprehensive digital assessment platform, that is uh, CDAP in collaboration with CDAC. National Education Policy 2020 emphasis technological intervention uh, for the purposes of improving learning, teaching, and assessment processes. Professional 
development of teachers, educational access, planning, management, and administration. It also advocates for new ways of assessment using educational technologies, focusing on 21st century skills. In view of this, the Central Board of Secondary Education, with technical support of CDAP, has initiated development of comprehensive digital assessment platform, CDAP, uh, to, the, uh, to host item repository and assessment instruments, to administer tests, uh, to assess the test, to provide assessment reports and analytics uh, for various stakeholders for examination conducted by CBSE. This will eliminate the high stake uh, aspects of board examination by allowing the, all the students to take board exams on up to uh, occasions during any given uh, school year. Objectives of the comprehensive digital assessment platforms. The CDAP will be built and open source in a modulator, reusable and the uh, scalable manner. The key objectives of the CDAP are creation of high quality standardized item bank. The item development and the banking process will be facilitated by an item banking software, which shall provide remote user access to writers to develop and upload items, standardize items for use the class and classify them into different categories for elaborate analysis. Item banking software would enable users to write items online, provide suggestive prompts, uh, highlight obvious errors, act as database manager for easy access and also be used to extract and retrieve question items when required. These high quality standardized items have undergone rigorous quality review about their use will be uh, used for examinations conducted by the board, including AISSC, AISSC, CTAT, key st stage assessments, recruitment examination, JNVST, etc large pool of item created. With the use of technology, the CBSE can invite a larger pool of item created for anywhere within its network, thus reducing its dependency on new individuals and also building larger capacity within its network on competency-based assessments, ability to draw insights and other qualities, qualitative and quantitative analysis and generate reports with CEDA. Besides qualitative analysis, CBSE will be uh, able to do the psychometric and other analysis in order to help uh, understand the learning trends, skill gaps uh, for the students, provide insights to its teachers to uh, improve learning in the classroom, do quantitative analysis like IRT, CTT, etc. to standardize and evaluate the items, publish end of examination reports to ensure transparency and adherence to standard expected from any examination. And it will also generate various analytical reports and progress reports useful to learners, teachers, parents, and educational administrators. Pro process efficiency with the CEDAP in place, the CBSC board officials will make it process more efficient in the assessment instrument creation process, at least administration, as well as the scoring analysis of results. A reduction in usage of paper and money spent. With CEDAP, significant exp uh, expenditure spent on printing paper for recording the student data or development of assessment instrument and test administration can be avoided. Progress so far anyway ahead. MOU uh, signed between CBSE and CEDAC, first phase of CEDAC uh, KSA platform being finalized by uh, CEDAC Mumbai. Sahoday Conferences, Sahoday School Complex, SSC, uh, in a group of neighborhood schools who even, uh, voluntarily come together to share best practices and innovative strategies in various aspects of the school's education in order to bring members of Sahoday School Complexes across the country on a common platform. The board supports the National Conference of the Sahoday School Complexes every year on a theme of current educational relevance. This conference also serves as an effective platform for building closer bonds between schools and the CBSE and thereby help the board in formulating its policies in a progressive and a pragmatic manner. The 26th and 27th National Annual Conference of the Sahodaya School Complexes mark a, a very important milestone. The roadmap towards establishing the goals of national education policy, NEP 2020, by providing a platform for the discussion of the key 
issue outline in the NEP along with an emphasis on the competencies required of all stakeholders, students, and the teaching faculty particular. Theme of the conference, 26th National Annual Conference of SSCs, Building Competencies in Challenging Times, 27th Annual Conference of SSCs. Punanava, rediscovery of India at the rate 75. Target group beneficiaries, approximately 27,000 principals of the schools affiliated to CBSE. Benefits accrued, accrued. Uh, facilitation of uh, board uh, interactions among participate, uh, part practitioners with regard to the implementations of the recommendations of NEP 2020 regarding school education. Engaging school leaders in co-creating solutions of strategies for implementing new policies and innovative practices launched by CBSC in the light of NEP 2020. CTET, new initiatives for Benny, uh, identification of the teachers with high aptitude skill sets and competency, teacher uh, eligibility tests. TET will be strengthened to inculcate best, better test material, both uh, in terms of the content and pedagogy. The TET is will also be extended to cover teachers across the stages, foundational, preparatory, middle, secondary of school education, implementation of reforms, align, uh, in line, the policies, vision, and the specific recommendation, the board initiated an action research where qualitative and the quantitative review of the CTAT papers uh, and uh, data was undertaken. Uh, last two years, last two cycles, this review has uh, sub substantiated the need of streamlining the test paper development process of CTAT. Redefining the syllabus to a detailed framework with articulate competencies, uh, which access assess uh, both content knowledge and the pedagogical content uh, knowledge. Development of a blue uh, print paper design that would be translated by the expert into good quality question papers, development of sample question papers to present good samples to test items, writers, and reviewers, and translators, capacity building of uh, experts, item writers, reviewers, translators, and academic committee comprise, comprising experts from the University of Delhi, Azam Premji University, Central Square Foundation, and the CBSE would support this process. Standard Setting Authority, SSA, Standards for Excellence in Schools Education. The school education system must aim to empower schools and teachers with trust, enabling them to strive excellence and perform at their very best while ensuring the integrity of the system through the enforcement of complete transparency and full public disclosure of all finances, procedures, and the educational outcomes. NEP 2020, CBSE has been uh, mandated to act as a standard setting authority, SSA, for Kendriya Vidyalayas, Navodaya Vidyalayas, private independent schools, and the government school affiliated with the board, and frame parameters against which the schools can be assessed for quality interventions. Key features uh, covers uh, different areas of the school's functioning, like curriculum pedagogy, assessment infrastructure, inclusive practices, human resources, management, and the governance and leadership. Focus on continuous school improvement and quality performance and enable schools to chart self-improvement plans, enable schools to evaluate themselves against the benefited, uh, against the uh, defined standards and embed uh, transformational changes, provide the schools with the qualitative benchmarks around which they can chart their own improvement, enable schools to establish an expected levels of the excellence in all the aspects of its functioning. The learners have been kept at the center are the standards framework with the goal of developing them to be confident, connected, actively involved, lifelong learners as envisioned by NEP 2020. Way forwards, small scale pilot studies to be undertaken by KVs and JNVs on Diksha to set up the tone for the smooth implementation of the framework. Development of digitized self practice, same pace learning, material to enable schools to understand the framework, undertake self-assessment and make improvement plans. Advocacy programs to be conducted across the country to create awareness about the standards driven school improvement program. Progress so far, conduct and pilot product, uh, pilot study in different schools 
representing KVs, JN, uh, JNVs, government, rural area, and the urban area. Schools uh, schools have a, uh, agreed uh, that the SQAA will enable schools to identify the gaps in their process and practices and bring whole the school transformation. Development of IT platform for successful implementation. IT platform develops on Diksha. Development of playbook, uh, detailed guidelines for the implementation of the framework along with the resources and the processes. Training of KV, JNVs, principal, 25 principals, each from KVs and NVS, train on framework, training on mentors, a group of principals train as mentors, pro providing support the school, a career guidance and counseling. CBSC is uh, in compliance with the suggestions of NEP 2020 has initiated the process of providing an online facility of career guidance and the counseling in collaboration exams and about 1200 scholarship in English, Hindi, different languages like Gujarati, Telugu, Assamese, Bengali, Marathi, Odia, uh, etc. Uh, progress so far, more than 2.6 lakh students have registered on this portal and are benefited uh, benefiting from this information. In the first phase, eight training sessions on portal were held for the school teachers under 16 regional offices between September and October 2021. More than 10,000 schools participated. Way forward, a base uh, school plans have been suggested to all the schools to instructionalize career counseling and upscaling of counselors and teachers. 90 hour training module for the teachers as counselors currently under preparation in collaboration with the UNICEF and technical partner. Target group includes students of class 9th to 12th across all 26,000 plus CBSE affiliated schools in India abroad. CBSE Career Guidance Portal has been launched on 4th August 2021. Students can access information on more than 560 careers, 25,000 challenge colleges and the vocational institutes covering 3 lakh courses, about 50 entrants. No hard separation between the vocational and the academics. The foundational principles that will guide both the education system at large as well as the individual institution within it are no hard separations between the arts and sciences, between curricular and extracurricular activities, between vocational and academic streams, etc. Uh, in order to eliminate harmful uh, hierarchies among and silos between different areas of learning, empower students through flexibility in course choices. Students will be given increased flexibility and the choice of students to study, particularly in uh, secondary schools, including subjects in physical education, the art and craft, and the vocational skills so that they can design their own path to study their life plans. Holistic development and a wide choice of subjects and the courses year to year will be the new distinguishing feature of the secondary schools education. There will be no hard separation among the curricular, extracurricular, and the co-curricular among arts, humanities, and the sciences or between vocational and academic studies, subjects such as physical education and the art and craft, and vocational skills in addition to science, humanities, and mathematics will be incorporated throughout the school curriculum with a consideration for what is interesting and safe at that stage. Progress so far. In partnership with the National Skill Development, that is NSDC, CBSC conducted the Junior Skill Championship. In this championship, children participated in uh, identified seven to eight skill areas such as photography, gaming, design, etc. This was a mentor, uh, mentor led uh, championship. Uh, the launch program was attended by 10,897 people. It was followed up uh, with eight orientation webinars for CBSC uh, schools with more than 15,000 participants. The championship witnessed two lakh plus registration offers, 10 skills and three groups. 161 students from 21 states and UTs are selected for the final round. 64 students were felicitated in various categories after the final round. CBSE in collaboration with the Intel has prepared a self-paced learning program to help uh, demystify AI in uh, an inclusive manner. This portal named AI for All uh, was launched by the Honorable <clears throat> PM Shri Narendra Modi ji on 29 July 2021. It includes models of AI awareness, appreciation, and the four uh, are open content which can help the students <coughs> to understand how AI has become an integral part of our lives. This portal is available in 11 different vernacular languages for anyone with the digital access and compatible with various 
talk back application used by visually impaired people. The courses are also available on CBSE Diksha platform with more than five lakh registrations so far them all the 20th states and the eight universities of the country. The program is increasing its access across the country. CBSE had announced artificial intelligence as a multidisciplinary integrated pedagogical approach to further enhance teaching and the learning across classes six to 10. A handbook titled Artificial Intelligence Integration Across Subjects had also been prepared in this regard. CBSE in support with the Intel uh, India uh, has now curated a set of 200 plus multidisciplinary AI integrated lesson plans for each of the five core subjects. Hindi, English, Math, Social Studies, and the Science for classes 6 to 10 with 40 to 45 lesson plans for each subject. Teacher training are being regularly conducted in uh, which 2,434 teachers have been trained so far, compiling with the uh, recommendations of NEP 2020 uh, and its commitment uh, to promotion and the development of the skill in students. CBSC introduced data science as a new skill uh, subject in session 2021. It also covers ethical issues and data, including data governance, and builds foundation for AI-based application of data science. Study material has been released, and 135 schools have shown the readiness to uh, offer data science in their schools in class 9th and 109 schools in class 11, based upon the data received in response to CBSC circular number 382021, in order to create awareness about various skill subjects being offered by the board. Awareness program have been regularly organized in collaboration the respective sector skills, councils, relevant industry representatives, and also with the Sohodaya school complexes. Capacity building program are also being regularly conducted for teachers teaching skills during the period under the review. 48 CBPs uh, were conducted in uh, seven subjects in which uh, around 10,000 teachers participated. This included the training program on AI, which were organized in collaboration with the various organizations like Intel, IBM, and Microsoft. In collaboration with the Microsoft, CBSE has been conducted training program for teachers on coding, uh, data science, modern workspace, uh, work, uh, workplace uh, learning uh, from anywhere, accessibility and the uh, and special education supporting quality in remote learning environment. In collaboration with the innovative cell of the MOE, CBSE has conducted. Uh, the school innovation ambassador training program in which teachers have been trained as innovation ambassador innovation sales uh, al shall also be set up in the schools the program will be continue for a period of one year to complete uh, the training of the 50000 teachers students enrichment program like youth uh, uh idathon hackathon ai inter uh, internship etc have also been conducted for students in order to promote a uh, development of the uh, entrepreneurial mindset, CBSC has conducted three training programs for the teachers in collaboration with EDI Ahmedabad, wherein 900 teachers have participated. CBSC is collaboration in collaboration with the Udyam Learning Foundation conducted the online entrepreneurship program. 500 participants, at, uh, participants attended the orientation program. After this, 22 selected master trainers conducted 12 online programs for teachers in which 161 teachers were trained. These teachers then trained the students uh, of their respective schools. The program was designed for the students of class uh, 9th to 9th and 11th, uh, about 40 schools and more 700 students were impacted uh, by the program. More than 300 unique business ideas were received and 100 most inspiring ideas have been compiled in a booklet which is available on the CBSC website. CBSC together with Ministry of Youth Affairs and the Sports Ministry of the Health, Family, Welfare, UR, UNICEF, and the multi-stakeholder uh, cons consortium of over 950 partners conducted the hashtag a young warrior movement to engage 5 million young people to lead action against COVID-19 and impact of 50 million people, young warrior 1.0. Five sessions were held in July, August. Uh, 2020 on vaccine body, stress buster, fake news, COVID recovery tale, and super young warriors, which were attended by 1,47,115 students. CBS along with UNICEF, uh, UWA and Udyam Learning Foundation launched the At The Rate Young Warrior Next, a year-long initiative in August 2021. 
to empower 10 million young people in the age group of 14 to 24 years with essential life and the employability skills, such as communication, problem solving, self-awareness, and enable them to achieve success in both professional and the professional life. Young Warrior Next as the extension uh, to the hashtag Young Warrior Next movement around 100 schools have been selected to run an in-class life skill training initiative for class 9th and uh, 11th students orientation sessions were held in december 2021 which were attended by 200 plus principals and the 40 master trainers the master trainers have trained about around 800 teachers these teachers have in turn trained around 70000 students of their respective schools a multi donor trust fund that is mdtf ist AR grant by World Bank Group has been provided to CBSC support increased investment in skill and vocational education and to facilitate school to co-work a transition for children in the age group of 11 to 18 years. The objective to support CBSC to develop and provide relevant vocational skills across identified schools in India for generating awareness and the advocacy of on vocational skills as an uh, aspirational career enhancing the classroom in, uh, environment for school development across 100 hub schools, creating e-content identified vocational and 21st century skills for grades 6 to 12. The developing short-term modules and e-content for teachers training for delivery of vocational skill education. The skill hub initiatives under PMKVY 3.0 aims at creating a shared infrastructure uh, aligning with the needs of the local economy and addressing the needs of all the target segments for vocational skill training. That training shall be targeted at dropouts and out of education candidates. Skill hubs are nodal. Uh, skill uh, centers identified to provide skill development uh, and vocational training opportunities to target population segment from class six to eight. Introduction to the world of work through orientation industry. Visit Bagley States. Class 9 to 11, now 9 to 12, aimed at exposing students to school development avenues, school dropouts, and out of education, uh, education aimed for academic credit, mainstreaming back to education over a period of time. These skills hubs will associate with adjoining uh, education and scaling institutions uh, or a district or a cluster of adjacent districts to provide access to skill development training or hub may leverage the infrastructure and the resources available at the associated hub for their in-school dropouts and out-of-education candidates. In the pilot phase, the skill hubs, skill centers would be open in around 200 CBSC schools on a fee-based model in order to provide students an opportunity to unleash their creativity and indulge in projects based learning CBSC in collaboration with Amazon Web Services, AWS, Atal Invention Mission, Niti Aayog, and Ministry of Education, Innovation Cell Government of India organized the AWS Young Builder Challenge 2021. 2,938 schools across 28 states and six union territories across India submitted a total of 5,952 projects. Apart as a part of the nation wide celebration of Azadi Kamrit Mohoso, an initiative of the government of India to celebrate the commemorate 75 years of the progress of India and the glorious history of its place, culture and the achievement, CBSC in collaboration with Atal Invention, Innovation Mission, Niti Aayog, and ISRO, ISRO, organized the ATL Space Challenge 2021. The challenge was open to school uh, with or without Atal thing, uh, Tinkering Labs, 6,500 plus students, 35% of them being girls, representing 32 states, UTs, and 40% entries from the government schools, and 60% entries from private schools participated in this challenge. The result of ATL Space uh, Challenge 2021 was announced on uh, 12th January 2022 in an online ceremony in which Top 75 innovations from 75th winning teams comprise, comprising of 200 students from 75 unique schools were awarded. An awareness webinar on digital citizenship and the digital wellness and digital citizenship uh, educators challenge was conducted on 1st December 2021.
in part, no, partnership uh, with Meta earlier, known as Facebook, skill module on digital citizenship uh, has also been developed. Now, awareness and the capacity building program shall be conducted for teachers on digital citizenship from June 2022 onwards. The uh, Atari Tinkering Lab, that is ATL program, has become a national movement, which is revolutionized. Uh, nizing the education ecosystem in uh, of India, it will play a pivotal role to implement experiential and the project-based learning model in India. The Agile ATLs program is a means to introduce tinkering and innovations to every CBSE schools across the country. Mobile ATLs are tinkering labs and market spaces on wheels, and we have to bring the spirit of tinkering and innovation to all the areas of the country. CBSE would be setting up 100 agile ATLs and 10 mobile ATLs in collaboration with the state governments. Initially, this project will be taken up with the states of Sikkim and Tripura. Target group beneficiaries, teachers and the students. Uh, capacity building of the teachers for teaching skills education, increase awareness among the schools and the students about various school pro subjects, awareness orientation about emerging technologies and future skills, promoting development and entrepreneurial mindset amongst the students and imparting relevant skills and know how, how to teach us. Introduction uh, of more skill models for middle school students, especially on topics like uh, blockchain, uh, drone technology, food processing, internet uh, of things, uh, photography, organic farming, Hydro, uh, phone, uh, phonics, digital citizenship, uh, augmented reality, that is AR, and virtual reality, that's VR. CBSC in collaboration with the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO in developing models uh, on topics related to rockets and satellites. CBSC in talks with the sector skills councils and industry connects to identify and introduce courses, subjects on aspirational careers and the future skills. Under the work, world bank project cbs is developing e-learning material for skill courses and the subject uh, i hope all of you have understood uh, the progress of nep 2020 thank you thanks a lot for watching my channel if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe it